Android and Android with a connected Android uh, Wi-Fi and Windows 10 PC and this is running from uh, my default machine here on my Windows 10 and that's the Windows this video shows how to cast a video from a Windows 10 PC to uh, over the network to another Windows 10 PC or to an Android tablet or to an Android smartphone. <clears throat> the PC is connected with a LAN cable like this one and this one is also connected with the LAN cable and those are uh, with wireless LAN. Uh, Wi-Fi and this one too. <clears throat> what we need here is we need the now when I want to stream or cast a video on Windows 10 the currently best solution for this point is uh, when to show the video live stream is to go to VLC so for this we need to, we open the Cortana we type uh, video LAN. Video LAN is the uh, company which uh, s which distributes for free the VLC. Now we go to VLC for Windows and we download the Windows download VLC package. And then when we have installed it, then we will find the VLC. Uh, first, close the open one. We go to the Windows uh, Start button and there we find the VLC, VLC Media Player. And then we open VLC Media Player and the best point is uh, to open, to go to the Start button there. And at the Start button we say, uh, we select a file for, for, for the first moment. Select a file and open that file and then we say not, uh, not play. We open this uh, drop-down button, we say <coughs> uh, stream with Alt-C, uh, Alt-S is stream, then we go to, uh, we open this uh, target and we say the best, what I found the easiest way is HTTP. And then we say add with the button behind there. And now we have uh, we have to go in and uh, add the port and uh, maybe the address, the current address of my system. <coughs> Found the best way to do this is first to check the own uh, IP address of your PC. Now you go there uh, to the Cortana and you say net status or network. And then you will find the network at network network adapter, and then you say see the IPv4 address, and this one is something with what, something with 192. We need this uh, uh, address later. <coughs> and now we say okay, the path is we have the 8080 is the port, and uh, the path 8080 path, and then we make a substream. That's the best point, uh, subfolder, which is stream in this case. And then I say 8080, okay. And then next, and, uh, and then we have the transcoding means uh, it s it's still compressing. The, uh, the best point is to compress that stuff. Uh, if it's a video morph or something else, uh, you compress the video signal and the audio signal to an MP4 compression with uh, 264 uh, compression mode and then we say do all elementary stuff there uh, check, uh, select the check but button there and inside the string there you will see the uh, double point 8080 front slash stream now s start that stream Okay, and in the left corner you see that the current window uh, f from VLC is running, and there's a on the bar is uh, the it moves there. Now we start VLC again to check in a second window to check if it's really running, and we simulate an, a second client. Now we go to stream. Oh no, no, not to stream to medium. 
<coughs> network address, or select the start button. There is network is the third uh, tab folder there. Network, and there you see HTTP. And now we have the address which of my PC, which is HTTP, and then uh, the 192.168.178.90. That's my IP address of my PC, and then um, double point eighty eighty, and then front slash stream. I added this one. It's not not really necessary, but I did. And now we say play. And we wait there a little bit. And now the client itself goes to uh, get the signal from my own uh, HTTP address for my own machine. And since this is running now, when I uh, uh, change the size, the video has to recalculate the signal. Now we go to the uh, other PCs connected with the network, on the network, and to the Android tablet. Video is still running there. I go to my other Windows PC. And there in my Windows PC, I do the following. Here we uh, also start VLC. And in the VLC file, we say, you will click here on the start button and we say network. And from network, we also stay start with 192.168.178.90.8080 stream. That's what, what what we typed in our uh, on the other PC. Now, when I start that point, video should run. And this is running on HTTP. It's really capturing. Now you see it's running there and it's also running there. It doesn't have to run here on the uh, server. And now we go to our tablet. First we go to our smartphone and here on our smartphone we do the same. Here we start our smartphone. We go to the smartphone and then we say we say uh, we download the app VLC. VLC as uh, we download it from the uh, Play Store. There we go, VLC. VLC, there it is for Android. And I've already installed it. I will open it. And then I, was, then I will say the same address HTTP 192.168.178.90 that's the streaming address I click on there sometimes this hangs needs a little bit of time so if nothing happens then we type it now it comes there's always a, uh, a big delay there and now that's our smartphone, what is running. And I found that when you're connected with a cable, with a LAN, uh, then it's pretty much faster. Okay, now we start this one. And now we have the, it running here, it's running there. And now we go to our tablet, it's an Android tablet. We go there to the VLC. We go to the Play Store, we look for VLC for Android, we install it. We say uh, allow access to the files. Now we say here uh, my open a media address now I will say HTTP double point front slash front, front slash one 
that's the uh, my PC double point 8080 is the port front front slash is for the uh, sub stream now start it It will need a little bit time, and now this machine says OK. And as you see there, we have a stream of Android and Android with a connected Android, uh, Wi Fi, and a Windows 10 PC. And this is running from uh, my default machine here on my Windows 10, and that's the Windows 10 device streaming with VLC on HTTP.